Okay, we're on day 37. I actually woke up early enough to do the meditation this morning. Secret was to go sleep in the tent last night. So I'm camping on our land next to the new home that we never finished building. I don't know what to do with these videos anymore. I don't feel like there's a lot of new stuff. New, like, revelations or greater levels of awareness. I'm kind of, like, swimming through... Uh, swimming through this sea of pain. And... Uh, and I suppose the experience is that as the pain goes away, there's a new pain underneath it. So it's not like I'm not getting anywhere. Uh, maybe just the realization that that there's so much pain. I thought I thought I was kind of through this, had the you know really big release after I finished watching a video before I started this started this hundred day meditation series and uh, and I cried so much and I feel like maybe that's coming again soon but like I don't have the space to do it right now I've been asked to present things a certain way at this time And part of me doesn't want to do that, but also understanding the reasons for it. And again, feeling the conflict between what I want to do versus what somebody else wants from me. And I'm not sure, so I'm just going to keep meditating. Because I don't know if, if it's the, you know, coming from a place of pain and anger that I want to behave in a certain way, or if it's legitimately in alignment with who I am. So, yeah, there's his feelings. Hmm. Everything that I've worked so hard for feels like I don't know, it feels like it was just an illusion. And maybe it is. Isn't this whole life just an illusion anyways? And we work hard to try and get a good job and have a nice house, friends, family, nice things. But is all that stuff real? I mean, isn't that part of the illusion anyways? What happens when I die? Do I keep those things? Do I take... Do I take my relations and my stuff and my money and house with me? Or I gotta leave it all behind? <sighs> so why do I feel bad thinking that it is the just an illusion and what does it matter anyways? Or feel bad realizing the illusion for what it is. Like I'm not underneath the spell anymore. <laughs> so maybe that's what it is then. Everything that we're experiencing as humans is is an illusion, really. Because what's real is something deeper within that you can't you can't see, you can't touch. You can just be. And how do we know what being looks like? Well, I guess look at the trees the mountains and the grass. These things just be and they live for themselves 
with no thought of uh, what their actions are. They just do it. And you know, like the really great analogy is the apple tree. The apple tree doesn't worry about if people are going to, you know, want to eat its apples. It just makes apples. And it makes more and more and more apples. And it doesn't care. It could have a whole crop full of apples. And nobody touches a damn thing. And next year, it's going to make more apples. So, life is like this. You just got to do your thing. Be the best version of yourself. Reach out to other people and give and give and give as much as you can. Be sure that you're still giving to yourself first. So you have what extra to give. Not extra, so you have more to give. And you'll see that the illusion falls away a little more every day. <laughs> okay. Day 37, 36, day 37.